Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft SQL Server 2008 edition to work with Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise 10.5. Installation of Microsoft SQL Server is quite straightforward. However, in order to make it work with Cisco Unified Contact Center uh, Enterprise, we have to customize the uh, SQL Server to meet that requirement. Now, this is a plain server that we have uh, built with uh, what we call Windows 2008 R2. And under the uh, G drive where my SQL Server distribution or software is in, I'm going to click on the setup. And it was, it's going to ask you some basic uh, uh, system checks or uh, some .NET if it needs to be installed, it will ask you to install it. But at some point, it will come to a point where it says it requires to enter a product key. So you will uh, you can select uh, enter the product key that is provided with your SQL Server distribution. You can click Next and accept the terms to continue the, with the installation of SQL Server. Now, this is where we ask you to define the role of the server. Here, we're selecting either SQL Server only with the following components, or you can Say, say SQL Server Power Pivot for SharePoint or all features with uh, default. So I just like to select all feature for that purpose because hey, I don't really care about it because it's not a production environment. So we'll select all features with default and continue next screen. So these are all the options that has been selected. Now you have the options to customize it if you want to. But because this is a live environment and we're not really focusing on SQL Server as being the main uh, focus of this particular course, so we don't, just, we don't really care about all the, you know, what components should be there or not. Just simply select all and continue to the next screen. Now it does provide you a, a kind of a, a check where it says if uh, all the components that are required from the operating system perspective, whether they have passed or failed what is applicable, what is not, and so on and so. So it says that the six, uh, uh, what do you call, operation completed has been successfully passed. 18 of them has been skipped. So pretty much they're all good to go. There's nothing fail or warning. So anything that is not required is probably, probably, probably is going to say not applicable. Now, for this to work with Contact Center Enterprise, you choose default instance. As uh, sometimes what happen is, administrator might want to use a different name for SQL Server database. So we're gonna just.